to day two of the greenhouse build. But first, we need a cup of coffee and we need to get some chores done real fast so that we can focus on the greenhouse and not have other things going on. Let's go. I never tried caffeine before though, but I hate coffee. I don't think it tastes very good. Did your mama jump the fence? Leave you all alone? We hate, I know hate's a strong word, but I'm there right now. We hate that Premier One fence. All the homesteaders raved about it. We spent quite a good amount of money on it. I'll get her. Well, you wanna get her? I'll get her. It doesn't work on hilly ground. It shorts out. Chickens, even if you clip their wings, they get over it. The goats just go over it or under it. It's been an expensive disaster. Right now we are building paddocks behind the barn. Video coming soon on that. But until then, we just have to grab them when they jump the fence and put them back. We do. Got other things to do, but chase you around. Hey, stay with your babies. Huh? You stay with your babies. You don't be trying to get with no boy goat. You got enough babies. Stay with your babies. want to get something done it's not gonna start now that we got all the goats put away we finally got our chores done and the only thing left to do is the mow it's not gonna start I mowed as far as the push mower would let me, and now Sam is here and is going to weed eat. have our plastic covering. It is plastic sheeting, four mil. So from what I read, we wanted either four or six. I hope it works. I needed a little more soil for my pots to mix with the compost, so you got me a bag of that. And then zip ties. Let's see what we can make happen. So my plan was to zip tie the plastic on the way that we zip tied the old tarp on. But Sam has poo-pooed that idea. Yep. He it says it's gonna just rip as soon as it's windy, which is probably true. Because it doesn't have like the grommets like a tarp does. So how do I attach plastic to our metal frame? The book, the book that got this idea out of shows it weighted down with rocks on the bottom. So you overlap, you hang it longer than it needs to be and then you weigh it down with like a log or some big heavy rocks. But is that, isn't that just gonna rip when it's windy too? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think we could use staples, uh, but I'll probably need to put more of a wood frame on it because you can't staple into metal. But the bottom's wood. Couldn't we just staple it at the bottom and then? You can, but on the sides is where you'll have a problem. Okay.
Okay, back to the source. So they just like overlap, like it falls over the front. Cause they don't even have metal, we have metal, but I don't think that matters. Why can't we do something like that? I know it'd be a nuisance, you'd have to move the rocks whenever you want it under there. So, <clears throat> we took a couple days to think about what we wanted to do. I also asked on some, say hi. Hi. I also asked on some homesteading boards on Facebook and then waited for some replies and molded over and then it rained for two days. And so now we have our solution and we are going to get started. All right, we've got our plastic and then we have uh, staples. So we're gonna need to get a hammer. And then the, uh, another box here. Two boxes of staples and then the solution to how to attach it and his weather resistant duct tape <laughs> which sounds really silly and at first we didn't believe it but we did some reading and like I said asked on a lot of homestead sites and a lot of people Ooh. I'd say at least five people commented on our post and said that that's how they do theirs and it lasts all winter and then you do have to rewrap it but I figure this is just like I said proof of concept so we need it to last this winter and then if we really like this design for a greenhouse, Mommy. we will probably build a wood frame on it. Can I have something? And attach, attach better plastic for longer use. We want to do this with as few seams as possible. And I think the best way to do this is I'm going to wrap around sideways. So I'm going to attach a piece here. I'm gonna use this L frame. There's some wood down there too with staples and then I'm going to wrap this way all the way around to the back and use staples on the cross and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then I will patch the door with another piece of plastic and that should cover the whole thing. Spatial skills are not my strength so you can all have a good laugh with me if this does not work. with nothing to attach to so Micah is my linchpin right now she's holding it Mom? yep okay you think uh, you good about 10 minutes if I go take a break what? just kidding <laughs> temporary placeholder so we have one side all taped up here now we're gonna pull up the second side website reading and it said for greenhouse structures you want your plastic between four and eight so since this plastic is four mil millimeters thick and I'm talking about overlapping it uh, that'll make it eight so I think we'll be okay and not have to trim it it'll make it a ton easier it also maybe help provide some extra strength to the structure since it'll have some areas where it's overlapped 
instead of having seams that are just touching and connected by the tape, it'll actually overlap and I can connect it with the tape both on top and under, which I think will make it extra strong. it completely wrapped and sealed with Gorilla Tape at the top with a second seam on the inside that's sealed. I still obviously need to do the door. We grossly overestimated the amount of plastic that we need so good news if it rips we can patch it. Heck we could probably rewrap it two more times and we'd still have enough. I was feeling really discouraged about this um, but then I think I now feel pretty good about it. It's already 10 degrees warmer in there. Um, it's a little chilly outside today, but man, I was sweating trying to seal the inside of that. So it's providing a good uh, vapor barrier and heat retention. That's great. Next time we're going to finish it up, but thanks for watching. We're really excited. Check us out next time for our final greenhouse video. We'll also get everything planted in there so you can see where what we're growing and we will keep you updated as the winter progresses as to how things are doing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you next time.